Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how to install LibreOffice on Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint or any Debian based distro. So I'm going to come here in my browser. I will search for LibreOffice. I will just click there on download. You can download the current stable release, which is usually at the top, or you can download the previous stable release. As I've said, I'm on Ubuntu, and you can use this method to install it on Debian, Ubuntu, or any Debian-based distro such as Mint. So select your distro from there, select the correct package to download from there. If you're on CentOS and CentOS related such as RHEL, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, download RPM, Fedora, download RPM. In my case, I'm going to download Deb and then I will download. So I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to close out of the browser. And here in the downloads folder, you can see I have this file, which is, a, if you can see the name, it is .tar.gz. So you need to extract this file. I will extract that file and then I will go inside here. You don't really have to think much because the instructions for installing it are already here. So if you go inside here and you click on readme's, you can open the readme file. If you scroll down, you're going to see a section for, so just continue reading. You're going to see a section on installation of LibreOffice on Debian based Linux systems. So if you come down here, you're going to see there's that. So I've already extracted it. What I need to do now is to CD into a certain directory here. So I need to CD. Let's go back all the way back, right? So this is a file I've extracted. I will go inside of this file. I will open it again and I need to go inside of this directory. So inside of this directory, I will need to run this command right there. So that is quite easy to do. If you're using a desktop environment, Usually you'll find that they will have this feature where you can just click to open in terminal. And this is going to open the current directory in the terminal. Just click anywhere on an empty space, then click on open in terminal. Or you can just go to the terminal and CD into that directory. Either way, just make sure you're inside of this directory. Okay, so once you're inside of that directory, you just run this command. Where is it? Text editor. Just do sudo dpkg-i and it's going to install all the dev packages inside of that directory. All of them are the different parts of Libra, such as Libra Office, Libra Calculator, and all the other Libra apps. Copy, come back, and I will do control shift V and then enter. Enter your user password. And it's going to install the different Libra apps. So just give it time. All right, the installation is now complete. If I was to come to my apps, you'll see the different Libra apps have been installed here. Come back here, I can open Libra Office Writer. So if there are any apps that you use frequently, you can just pin them there. That's it for this video. If you have any question, feel free to let me know.